Jody, are you dyslexic? I didn't know. No, not really. It's just every now and oh. then, you know. No, I'm not. I toured, for, I, I, I toured for several years with an all dyslexic Aerosmith cover band. <laughs> uh, we're called uh, uh, Janie's Got a Nug. And uh, <laughs> so I, it, you know, I'm representing the community. Of course. Actually, when I first saw the title for Game of Thrones, uh -huh. I was like, why are people watching something called a Game of Thorns? I don't understand why that would be entertaining. So I do mm. kind of, but it's not often. It's, it's... Well, you must belong to different fetish groups, Jody, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you could say the you could say the Christians celebrate something called Game of Thorns every Good Friday, but you know that's that is a whole true. Other that is a whole different bag of problems. Um, you, uh, I love you, um, Marco Hi. Rubio, uh, tweeted out the three point five trillion Biden plan isn't socialism; it's Marxism. And you tweeted back, Marco Rubio, Rubio lies about Marxism with the confidence of a man who knows his supporters don't understand what words mean. <laughs> that's fantastic and true. <laughs> well, I, it's just great to know that he can be a disgusting hypocrite when he's not quoting scripture as well, isn't it? You know, I know. What is his what is his thing on quoting scripture like so much? Is that a new thing? No, I think he was raised Catholic. Mm -hmm. I think he is consumed by guilt because his entire professional career has been uh, legislating against everything the uh, Jewish carpenter tells you to do. Right. I mean, that, this is my big fetish is that... Uh, I say to all my conservative friends and, and people I debate, I'm like, give me give me one teaching of Jesus that this party fights for legislatively, one. And they'll always say the same thing, uh, abortion. And then I've got to say, the Bible's not against abortion. God, God is the least pro-life character in the book. He sure is. Um, God makes it clear a fetus is not a person many times. Jesus was against the death penalty. Mm -hmm. Are you with Jesus on that? And then they'll say, uh, th this is really true, Jody. They'll say, uh, the, the, the U.S. Embassy being in Jerusalem. And I'm like, well, this might shock you, but Jesus never mentions the United States yeah. in 33 <laughs> AD. Never comes up once where our embassy should be. And <laughs> You know, like, uh, again, you can identify however you want. If if Bruce can become Caitlyn, I respect that. Mm -hmm. And and, uh, and I, I don't respect her, but, you know, right. so you can call yourself Christian all you want. But when you try to use Christianity as a cloaking device for douchebaggery, <laughs> then I'm sorry, I'm sick of it. You got to get called out. And I'm tired of Marco Rubio playing this Christian card uh, to, I guess, impress elderly folks and make them think he's something he's not. Because... And you support the guy who wants to turn away war refugees and bring back torture. You can put up a tree in your house every Christmas. You're not following the guy your religion's named after. And I'm tired of these guys using it as a, as a shield. I want to take it away. Well, yeah, even with the Build Back Better um, bill, BBB, mm -hmm. yep. um, that that actually gives child care and, and oh, yeah. uh, th things that help people live better. Food on people's tables, you know, and that's to me, that's pro-life. That must be why it's so popular uh, among all different kinds of Americans, including the majority of Arizonans and West Virginians. Yeah, shocking, isn't it? Uh, do I, you mean, have... I mean, there, this bill like replaces every lead pipe mm -hmm. in America. Like that, that's all you got to say. And, yeah. You know, I mean, this is going to deflint our water supply. And, and it's so popular. But again, what's the narrative we get, right? Like, let's beat up on mansion and cinema. But 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 here's here's what we have. We have some Democrats saying we got to do all this. We got to spend a trillion dollars to help a lot of people. Other Democrats say, no, we got to spend three trillion dollars to unrig the system to keep on helping people. Yeah. You got the Republicans saying we don't want to do anything to help anyone who's not a millionaire. And the media is saying, can you believe those Democrats out there fighting? They're in such disarray. Mm -hmm. I'm like, we have two Democrats who are causing problems because they're like these Republicans who don't want to do anything. Mm -hmm. We have to remember the bad guys, not man. The bad guys, not mansion and cinema. The bad guys are the entire Republican Senate who won't do anything, but they'll pose with large scissors to cut tape. Mm -hmm. Once uh, they're opening projects from this money in their home districts, like they will benefit from this, but they won't vote for it. So as bad as mansion and cinema are, we can't lose sight of who the real, the real villains are in this narrative. I agree with you completely. And, and, Speaking of cinema in particular, do you? We're all trying to figure out what it is that she's doing. Yeah. I mean, a Mansion is a negotiator. He's been around a long time. Most likely, he'll sign on board 
eventually. Well, she, on Ma the other Manchin, hand, is weird. Manchin's a gazillionaire from coal mines. Exactly. Yeah. We have to remember that. Yeah. Manchin's whole life is convincing West Virginians that coal's coming back and that clean coal's a thing. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, you're right. He is a negotiator. But, you know, his kind of negotiating is, okay, I'm going to start at 1.5. You're going to start at 3.5. And my limit is 1.5. All, all this stuff happens. They'll have a deal today. And look, this even if they get the bare minimum deal, it's going to be like twice what Obama's stimulus was when he had 57 senators, mm -hmm. you know, in the in the Senate. So, I mean, it, it, it will be an accomplishment. And all this fighting will be forgotten next week when a United Democratic Party is talking about all the things they're bringing to the American people. So right. it's a really good bill overall. I've met Cinema, and, um, you know, I remember when she was with a bullhorn protesting the Iraq war for the Green Party. Mm -hmm. Right. All I can say is money is a powerful force. And mm -hmm. she's taken $900,000 from lobbyists who want to kill this bill. She's taken uh, over a quarter, three quarters of a million dollars from just the health care uh, from uh, pharma alone. Right. Uh, and pharma does not want the government negotiating drug prices via Medicare. Very true. So, you know, I think I, I'm not really afraid of cinema flipping parties. She will get censored by her party and she will have a, a challenger in a primary, but oh, yeah. I don't think she cares. I think Kristen Cinema has the lobbying gig lined up and she's just getting paid forever for upsetting the people who put her in office. Yeah, that's what I that's my theory is that it's she's setting herself up for some sort of lobby position. Yeah. You know, because oh, yeah. she's not going to get reelected, even if she did switch parties, the Republicans won't vote for her either. Yeah. They'd rather vote for a real Republican and not yeah. somebody that just switched for whatever reasons. Exactly. But boy, way, way to reinforce every negative stereotype of bisexual people. Thank you, Senator Cinema. <laughs> Not reliable, dishonest, inconsistent, doesn't know what they want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did you read this um, report that just came out about the top Christian American pages on Facebook from 2019? Have you heard this yeah. yet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 19 of their top 20 American Christians are run by Eastern European troll farms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. to divide us that's insanity i mean all y'all stop is, looking at him but this is this is what happened this is how trump got elected. blacks against hillary yes with a russian site on facebook mm -hmm. like this is what they do and it's really effective and it, who's easier to manipulate than american conservative christians uh right-wing douchebags that's right. it american right-wing macho douchebags are easy to manipulate but again this is why I think we got to take the take the cross back from the hypocrites, take the flag back from the cretins. You know, I, I'm not surprised by it at all, Jody. I mean, these all you got to do is say abortion and followers of Jesus will vote against everything Jesus told them to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the first one, the rank, number one ranked one is called Be Happy, Enjoy Life. Oh, God. And the next oh, one God. is Jesus is my Lord. And then one is you can Speak loudly, purpose of life, positive quotes, memories of a loved one, smile and shine, light of the world, why not us, happiness is in your mind, my life, life is beautiful, blessing, conscious reminder, blessed, and then the real one from America, an actual Christian organization Facebook page, guideposts, sounds good, simply beautiful, motivational quotes and videos, oh, that'll be fun, and light candle for a lost one, those, those are the... 19 out of the 20, the 20 that are the top Christian, American Christian uh, Facebook groups right now. I'm so shocked that religion could be manipulated to control people <laughs> so yeah. someone else can profit. I just, I don't know what to believe anymore. Did you know, I, I, I'm going to shock you again. There's Jeez. gambling in Las Vegas. <laughs> really? Yeah. Who knew? I know. That's so, and there's strippers there too? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, shocking, there's, there's shocking, culture. shocking. We, we, we call it culture down on Fremont Street, but yes. Yeah, and and like when we were talking about Manchin, you tweeted this out. Joe Biden has two Joe Liebermans. Barack Obama only had to deal with one, and yeah. that's the problem. And Ro Khanna said it the other day. He said, we've got the entire House Democratic Caucus mm -hmm. for this. Mm -hmm. We have 48 senators for this. We have the president for this. There are only two senators that are against it. And he goes, so don't say that we're in disarray because we are not. Right. Yeah. And, and even Ilhan Omar was like, the price tag is one thing. It's our priorities that are what we need to make sure in this bill. We can always add money later. Yeah. You know, the money isn't the, the problem. It's what's in the bill, the, the good stuff that's in there. And a lot of people are trying to spin this as being the House progressives are crashing everything. Mm -mm. That, that, that it's Ilhan Omar, that it's Premier Jayapal, that they're the villains because <laughs> they are holding the line and showing how much power the House progressive caucus has 
for their own selfish desire to uh, give the American people what they came out in a plague to vote for mm -hmm. last November. Right. Uh, you know, but but even if it's the worst pot, even if it's just the one point five trillion, mm -hmm. that's double the figure of the Obama stimulus that passed when they had 57 senators. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Manchin Manchin's original agreements wanted to end. He, he agreed to end the carried interest loophole for big investors, raising the top tax rate. I mean, no matter what, even if it's the worst, this rancor will be forgotten next week because they will have had life changing social spending programs for people who are struggling in this country right now. And this is what the Democrats have got to do. This is the whole main purpose of, of the fight. You, you know, when you look at how many people were lifted out of poverty by the stimulus, both the Trump stimulus last year and the stimulus this year. I mean, COVID mm -hmm. aid lifted millions of people out of poverty, yep. despite one of the country's worst labor markets ever. And this shows the impact that having a hand up, not a handout, mm -hmm. can do. And the Democrats get credit for fighting for that expanded unemployment benefits while millions of people lost their jobs. And because of it, in many ways, we're emerging better from the pandemic than Europe. We have we have more well-paying jobs. We have less hunger, less poverty. Um, nearly 12 million Americans came out of poverty because of stimulus checks. Mm -hmm. And this is the Democrats' way of undoing Reaganism, saying, look, yeah. we know what works. We just did it. Giving money to people who go to space for 15-minute vacations yeah. because they feel like it hasn't trickled down to you guys yet. So I, I think they can really turn this into a huge win. But again, these are Democrats. So we'll see how much they can they can blow it between well, now and next year. Well, Speaker Pelosi said this about about what's going on right now. So remove all doubt in anyone's mind that we will not have a reconciliation. We will have a reconciliation bill, that is for sure. The, today the question is about uh, we are proceeding in a very positive way to bring up the bill of the BIF to do so in a way that can win. And so far so good for today. It's going in a positive direction. It's impossible, though, to persuade people to vote for the BIF without the reassurances that the re reconciliation bill will occur, and it will. There you go. And she, she's, do not mess with no. Speaker Pelosi. She is very, very, very good at her job. And when, when Pramila Jayapal went out yesterday talking about how the progressives are against not, they're, they want to pass this, the, infra, the smaller bill. They do. Mm -hmm. They're just not going to do it until we know that the bigger bill is ready to go. And for her yeah. to say that in public, that she got the go-ahead from Nancy Pelosi to say that. There is no way she would have said that without the, okay, go ahead, do that. Because even Pelosi said the other day, the Senate's tying my hands. The Senate yeah. is tying my hands. I, I got the votes for both bills. The Senate is tying my hands on this. And so she's putting it where it needs to go. In fact, uh, number three, this is what she said about uh, Senator Manchin. <laughs> Uh, if I paid attention to everybody's public statements, oh my goodness, even some that maybe you inadvertently make that are not quite on point. Uh, but uh, he said some other things after that that said, I'm for reconciliation. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you see that further? Is he saying something privately then to you or to the president that gives you more hope that that can move forward? You would think mm. I'm going to talk to you about my conversations with Joe Manchin in here. <laughs> <laughs> if you promise not to tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> so she's she uh, as of late Thursday night, Politico reports that uh, she and Manchin and Cinema and Bernie Sanders and Chuck Schumer plus some White House offic officials got together, and Pelosi reportedly offered Manchin two point one trillion dollars instead of the one point five, and the money divided between family issues like child care and paid leave, Obamacare sub subsidies, and health care issues, including climate change. Hi, all pro life things. Yeah, all pro life things. Yeah, I mean, and look, this will be a win for Democrats no matter what. Mm -hmm.